Okay, this is my balcony garden for Lisa. It might give you a few ideas, but I want to show you a few things. Um, styrofoam boxes. I use them lots. Work fine. Um, you just have to watch things like what kind of holes you have and so of water runoff. This box tends to get dry very quickly underneath because the water runs out from here, which is quite high instead of from the lower ones. But it's growing the potatoes all right. I've actually had one bunch of potatoes I've just harvested because they dried out, but there's another lot still going. So that's sort of luck of the draw. These are just sort of various stuff. I don't think there's anything there. Box under a drip to collect rainwater because I don't have any good rainwater things, but I should be able to tap into that gutter. I've just never done it. Balconies, you can sometimes do that. Um, this whole space I can actually water with the watering can. Um, it takes, I don't know, eight or like nine trips to get the whole lot, but you can see I can actually get some fairly decent. Um, fruit growing here. I've got heaps of plums at the moment and heaps of apples. Actually these are the columnar these are the columnar apple trees. So you see they just grow straight with no side branches. Or well, in theory no side branches. I'm probably supposed to have trimmed that one off but I don't care. Um, but yeah so they take up a very small space. And these are not very large pots and just as a scale thing. They should be in bigger pots by now but I've just never got around to replanting them. And this is a Z dwarf nectarine. It's covered in fruit. The fruit's full size. It just doesn't produce as much as a normal, uh, normal nectarine tree. So not as much quantity, but the fruit's normal size. Good flavour. So. so yeah, that's how much space I have for fruit trees. And then here's all my styrofoam boxes. You can see that there, a lot of them are sitting on other boxes just to get an extra height. This is. Um, this will give you an idea of the um, scale. This is like 20, 25 centimetres high, this box. Um, so I have this nice little wall along my balcony, and I'm growing in that. Um, beans, what have we got at the moment? There's beans and stock. There was rock melon in here, but the cats keep squishing it. Um, watermelon, um, beetroot. Lettuce, which has gone to seed. Lettuce, which is growing fine. Snow peas. Oh, must get those. So take advantage of the railing there so something in the box can grow up the railing and that just gives you the better space. Um, these plants also growing around each other help shade, every, shade each other. And then I've got a whole bunch of other herbs. That's actually carrot. You shouldn't be able to grow carrots in a box like this, but as it happens, this is carrot too. Have a look at that height. If I stand back, you can see how tall that is. That's a huge height. You shouldn't be able to get that in a box this size because it needs the root depth, but this is flowering, so it's bolted, so it's extra high. But also, this is a double box. You can see it's actually got a plastic bag, and we've just taken the bottom out of this one and used a plastic bag, so this actually has double, double the depth. Now, this solution does not actually work that well because the plastic bag disintegrates, you get dirt coming out, it's hard to manage, you do get weeds coming out here, you need some drainage at the side. So it's an imperfect solution, but it does allow you to plant root vegetables, which otherwise are a bit tricky. I seem to do okay with beetroot, but that's the only root vegetable I've gotten. I don't know if that's space or root size or climate or just me planting stuff at the bad time or not bothering to look after it. Here's another double box and this one's not, oh, you can see it's not in great condition. Mum did this one for me. This was the first one she did and she stuck it together with toothpicks and skewers, most of which I've had to remove because I have toddlers who think skewers are fun to play with and, and try and pull them out and then, yeah. So, and you can see also the bags disintegrated. So, this box I actually need to rebuild. The parsley's got taken over. I was going to redo it as a double depth and try planting the watermelon in that. I actually had the watermelon in that potato box originally last summer, and I got a fairly good plant out of it, but it needed the entire box for root space, and I still didn't get the fruit out of it. I'm not sure why I didn't get the fruit out of it. These boxes do not grow too many things at once especially with the limited depth if you have a bigger plant like this is a space master cucumber so it's not actually a big long running cucumber it'll take only a small amount of space this is a chia these two should not be in the same box together but this one won't last long and by the time this one grows up this one will have died off so i can kind of get away with it now 
these are Jerusalem artichokes. They seem to grow in anything. So, yeah. But mostly what I have in here in the, sh in the boxes is little herbs. And you sort of pick them carefully. I tried growing Santolina, but it would just never flower because it wasn't enough root space. But sage and the cat thyme and the cat mint I'll do fine. And even this salvia seems to be doing well. I didn't think it would do quite so well, but I like this. This is one of my favourite plants. Oh, this is a marine blue salvia, and it's doing better than I would have thought. It's got lettuce and, of all things, an oak tree. It's actually an oak tree under there. That's an oak tree under there. I have two oak trees in this garden, my, but they've never grown any bigger than that. This is my current favourite plant. Just to show you, it's an Agastache hummingbird mint. It's a beautiful, beautiful plant, and it needs water. Ooh. And this is the one, one plant I mentioned to you that might actually be good on the balcony. This is a Brazilian cherry. Um, leaves are slightly scented. Um, they smell a bit like guava or yeah, something from the Myrtaceae. They've got that kind of scent. And um, yeah, this one's not in great condition because I haven't taken care of it for a while. But it it makes a decent size. It has edible berries and it grows fine in balcony conditions. Oh look, tomatoes. Okay, I think that's it for that particular example.